they're anti-Semitic. Nissan Ayalon sells Israeli cosmetics and he's told BBC Scotland that the treatments left him fearful. The Scottish Palestine Solidarity Campaign, who admit to demonstrating at Mr Ayalon's business, deny racism or anti-Semitism. Fiona Stocker reports. To occupy and take out my land. Protests outside the Scottish Parliament today marking a hundred years since the Balfour Declaration, which paved the way for Israel's creation. In Aberdeen, this Israeli businessman sells products made from Dead Sea minerals. He faces weekly protests. He describes it as Jew chasing. Like I don't have the right to exist. Um, like uh, I have to justify my existence. I have to ask for permission to live, to walk to work. We were accused of murdering, mass murdering, uh, slaughter, uh, criminals. We were called uh, criminal enterprise. Uh, we were called um, baby killers. This is what Nissan faced in Belfast. Red paint and dolls thrown at his stall. He faced more protests when he came to Glasgow. And more when he moved on to Aberdeen. Campaigners refute claims that their actions are racist or anti-Semitic. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. And by the way, that charge has been tested twice in Scottish courtrooms. Once in an Edinburgh courtroom and recently in a Glasgow courtroom, where two sheriffs repudiated and rejected uh, very quickly any allegation that we were motivated by hatred of Jews or any other people. We hate the sin, not the sinner. Reflecting on his life in Scotland, Nissan says he still loves the country he's made his home and he just wants to get on with his life and his business. Well, Fiona Stalker's outside Aberdeen City Council tonight. I gather, Fiona, that this um, concern has been raised several times before. That's right, Sally. Well, the Scottish Palestine Solidarity Campaign says its actions are all about supporting the Palestinian people and a boycott of Israeli products around the world because of the occupation of its territories. Now, here in Aberdeen, about a year ago, there was a Lib Dem councillor, Martin Gregg, put forward a motion to the chambers behind me after hearing about Nissan Ayalon's case. It said the council rejects any attempts to force individuals, families and legitimate businesses away from Aberdeen on grounds of race, country of origin or religion and condemns any organisation that tries to do so. Well, that was defeated by a large majority of votes from the SNP, from Labour and the Conservatives. Martin Gregg described that as chilling and he accused the council of turning a blind eye to anti-Semitism. Now, the council's co-leader, Labour's Jenny Ling, absolutely refutes that. She says that they're against any type of discrimination. Just one final word. The Grampian Racial Equality Council told me a short time ago it was aware of the situation and was trying to find a resolution. Fiona Stalker, many thanks. Councillors in Glasgow are being asked to reconsider plans for a 